medical marijuana is legal in Michigan. So why is a man who operated one of the first dispensaries in Detroit locked up? His supporters believe he's being singled out for selective prosecution. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom tells us why. Five and a half years, I just don't understand. I see people, child molesters, that they go three years or less. My kid's gonna be probably 10 years old when he comes home. I just want um, a little bit of mercy, just a little bit, because my kids and me and the whole family needs them. Rudy Gamo, I've never met him, but when you talk to those who have, you get a bit of insight into the man they see. My husband is everything for us, everything. He's the head of the family and he supports us on everything, no matter what it is. Rudy, I'm told, got into the medical marijuana business in the city years ago. His wife, Vita, says he did it as if it were somehow his duty at Green Cross on 8 Mile. He always got a big heart. To help those who are hurting, who need this medicine just to make it. Do you regret getting into this field because of what has happened? No, I don't. Um, because I believe that we still want to help people. So now attorney Barton Morris is here to help them. Rudy is one of the first people to provide a medical marijuana dispensary in the city of Detroit that was permitted by the city. It's my goal to see to it that he is released from prison. They were prosecuting him as a continuing criminal enterprise, right? Because Rudy has all of these homes. Allowing people to grow marijuana in buildings that he owned uh, to, be, to, to service the community. All this marijuana is being grown and being sold at the dispensary. Technically, it is illegal. He's doing nothing different than what all of these other dispensaries are doing. For the last several years, medical marijuana dispensaries in the state of Michigan, in the city of Detroit, all but all over the state have been getting their marijuana from overages from caregivers. And so they're being distributed to dispensaries. He was just one of the few individuals that was prosecuted for it and eventually jailed for it. Busted by the long arm of the law in Oakland County, a place where some of Rudy's properties were. Selective prosecution or the perfect punishment for the crime? Our society has said marijuana should be legal. So we should not be jailing people for it, especially nonviolent offenders that are simply trying to do so within the parameters of this gray area. These individuals shouldn't be penalized, especially when the laws are going to change. Do you think this man should be in prison or should he be back at home with his family and back here in business? In Detroit, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. The scene, horrific.